ready. Gentlemen, this is your count forty six. <laughs> Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and children. Welcome once again to the fabulous. Paola Ruffini here in Torino, Italy for what is to be an explosive evening of Muay Thai boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to open the show now with our first bout of the evening. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds on Yokao 46. Ladies and gentlemen, let's first of all introduce to the blue corner, Tiziano Campos. So, hello, ladies and gentlemen, for our brief hiatus there. It was a long one. He was in the ring swinging his arms about. Tiziano Campos, then. I think I got that right. We've just been to the, uh, well, you know, nature calls, and we return. On Once again, 46. ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Tiziano Campos. Tiziano Campos, then, 70 kilos. Three, three minute rounds of Muay Thai action here on Yoko Fonsi, and you're going to be seeing the man himself, the legend, the all time great Sanchai at the end of this show. And facing Tiziano this evening, his opponent in the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring Damien Kazambo. So, Tiziano's. Uh, Opponent tonight will be Damien Kazambo. Kazambo, that's a great name, isn't it? Kazambo! Shazam! Here he is! Damien Kazambo then. From a very good gym. I expect him to be strong. And I expect him to be capable. So tonight, we're going to see an absolute scorcher of a show. We just had one. I don't know where you've been. If you have been anywhere, don't go anywhere else. Share this if you're on Facebook, tell everyone if you're on YouTube, and just watch the Muay Thai action unfold. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Damien Kazambo! So I'm Eddie Shawman, and with me is Gavin Say, the former European and Muay Thai champion. And this is our opening bout on Yokao 46, scheduled for three, three-minute rounds. And we're live for you from Turin in Italy, Gavin. Sanchai later on, they are really spoiled, aren't they, the Muay Thai people of the world? Yeah, mustn't take it for granted. Uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the greatest to ever do it. Um, yeah, it's going to be really looking forward to that. So we'll see. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know what's going on in the world of Yoka, you can follow us on Instagram. You can also follow us on Facebook, if you already are. Thank you very much. If you're not, then do so. And we move on and forward. We had two really good performances for the two guys from the Yokao Sanchai gym. And... <laughs> yeah. There's the stats then. And uh, we'll see what goes on. Yeah, two good performances from Yochai. And... Uh,
Yeah, from Yocha, it's a superb performance against Alessandro Sara. They avenged a loss to him, and Christian Zai, who really took a shellacking off an on-form Singdam. So you've missed that, so it's your own fault. But don't, we're not blaming you for anything other than your own whatever you've been doing. Should have been watching this. This kid, Kazambo, looks in absolute brilliant shape. Doesn't he, Gav? He does. He comes from a very good gym, very well schooled. Mm -hmm. So I'm expected to see I'm expected to see a very well balanced, well rounded fighter here. Fate di fermate, ok? Saluto. Indietro. Fugge. 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 Tempo. Tempo. Top. Sapo da Cisano. Nice ride. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can already see there's a real yeah. snap to Kasambo's yeah. work. Yeah, and that campus mm. drops that right hand yeah. too much. <coughs> smack with the left hook with because of that. And also if you use that left hook, get space for the right kick. Sharp off the lead leg. Very nice. Yeah, laid back, really sharp. Good eyesight, oh. good jumping knee. Nice knee right through the middle there. Uh, yeah, it was powered it, but landed yeah. sweet, didn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Kick. He's showing good imagination here, good variation nice. of his stuff. It's nice to watch. Top, 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 top. <laughs> nice body kick that was. In campus. Looks a bit wild for me, Gav. Yeah, he's very wide, isn't he, with his shots top. that he's coming back with and trying to cattle punch with. Heavy. Tries a left hook as well. Top, 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 top. Just, um... He's got a lot of shots of any Kazambo yeah, and just... Kazambo's loading up a little bit with some of his shots. He's cut as well <coughs> under the eye. Top, Campus. Top. Yeah, it's cut. Is it his nose or is it his eye? It's, under his, it's just under his eye. It's oh, and out they oh, come. There we go. And nearly on me. Nearly. Don't spin, eh? Okay. Yeah, it's a little nick under his eye, but it's yeah. not. It's very neat. Scruffy. Top, 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 top. Way of fighting from uh, campus. Nice kick inside the leg. Oh, strong, scruffy uh, first round, not going to lie. Difficult to uh, really put that anywhere. With a push, we'll give it to Kazamo. So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, um, let's re-spark our relationship together again. Flies through the air with the greatest of ease and just nearly lands one of his very dangerous knees. See that, Gav? Poetry just comes out of me like magic. Like a flowing, like a flowing river. That's like a flowing river, like a tap of pure <laughs> and utter linguistic magic. <laughs> anyway, and there's a treat for everyone at home. Young lady who I've got things in my fridge over the Nerga. Um, yeah, I mean, look, let's see what happens. We've got some really good fights, and I've got three ties fighting and Christian Fastino.
against Viper, Yokao, uh, San, uh, Yokao, San Chai Jim. And I tell you what, Christi, uh, uh, Christian, sorry to say, said his name wrong, had a right ding dong with Liam Harris, and he team. took a shellacking. And he's the toughest Very Italian tough since Very Rocky tough. Balboa. Did you do that well? Didn't do it that it well, was, it? well, we knew where you were going. It was. Oh, he's a heavy kick, and he dives in with the right hook. I think it's in Campos's interest. He has to keep it as messy as possible, and uh, keep Casambo off his feet a little bit. Yeah. Now I've got nice technique stop, 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 in these distances to do it. He's sort of yeah. scruffy him out of it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. When Casambo gets space, he looks very, very nice, very neat and tidy. I feel like he's trying to do a little bit too many things at once, oh, Casambo. Yes, he's, he's, he's I just, agree. He's stop, just, stop, stop, stop. I agree. You know. That was nice. That was very good. I don't know what it is about the French corner, but whatever the shouting, it makes it sound much sexier than kill him or punch him in the it face, <laughs> doesn't it? It really does sound <laughs> better. The cook, yeah, like the cooking. <laughs> you know, really, I mean, not being disrespectful, because I do actually know the coach. Or so. <laughs> anyone writes in to your account complaining about me. But it does sound sexy. It, it sounds sexy. I'll leave it. <laughs> I'll leave it there. <laughs> He's just swinging for the bleachers at times, isn't he? Uh, Can't cross, yeah. Can't he's, cross. He's, he's, he's kind of, you know, that's kind of, he's kind of out of ideas there at the minute. Yeah. But, but at the same time, Kazim, Kazimbo, is, he, he's just doing, trying to do too many things at once. He's stick to one or two things, you know. Mm -hmm. He's got you sharp know, hands. Also, people well don't balanced. get is, you know, it, kicking someone with your feet and shins and on elbows and knees, and it, they're so tough, these guys, they really are, and ladies, of course. <laughs> Referee did well there, didn't he, to dive he did, in that? He did, I thought he was going through the ropes there. Hey, no speed there, OK? Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? Uh, left hand and then a jumping yeah. scissor, uh, sorry, right hand and a, a jumping scissor, and he, on a spinning elbow, bringing it all out now. Watch though, Campos is not out of this by any stretch. And he's stop, stop. He's really trying to put Get it onto him. <laughs> Last 15 seconds, got caught with the right hand and just some sneaky, horrible elbows on the inside stop, stop, from stop, Campos. Stop, stop. Kazambo, I just think is, uh, he has scored more. Stop, stop, stop. Agolo. End of the round. Yeah, I mean, what can you say? You, you know, it's, it's uh, yeah. Well, it's, it's one of those in it's style. I mean, it's not, it's not the most stylistically pleasing no, fight, but you, you get that, don't you? Yeah, you know? it's, it's kind of a, 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 the old cliche of styles make fights, and, you know, these two are kind of rubbing, each, rubbing up against each other the wrong way a little bit, I think. Campos is trying to keep it rough and ready. Casambo wants space to work his nice techniques. Yeah. Spinning back this type elbow. Just, uh, tried that to, but to no avail. And um, yeah, I mean it's nothing really happened. Round three then. The technical, ambitious Damien Gazambo, but he's been a spoiling and Campos coming forward to Southport. Campos roughing him up stop, here stop, now. Stop, stop. Yes. Really stepping onto him, pushing him back. 
depriving them of space, which is what he should have done in the first round, to be fair. Tempo. Not sure. Ooh. The jackpot. Kazambo looks like Eddie Murphy, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. Beverly Hills Dave. Cop. <laughs> He's cop for one there. <laughs> oh, no. God. God. I mean, all we try to veal. Kick straight back. Who's that? Who's that, Eddie Murphy? <laughs> oh, that was it. Let's <laughs> see that. That was a good one, wasn't it? Both went at each other with those spiky ones. <laughs> I think, you know, if Kazambo, if it was five rounds and it was more neat, I think you'd see a lot of good technique from him, you know. He's just been scruffed out. Yeah, really. I think so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I just think he needs to stick to one or two things as well. Like, you yeah. know, keep, it's like no game plan as to what he's doing. He's just kind of, I'll throw this next. It's like yeah. good imagination. Oh, that, oh, that, that was, was right in the... Uh, that was right there. That was right in the trading places, wasn't it? Ooh. Stay. Stay. Oh, Lord. Sinister smirk across the face of Brian Calder, the promoter of Yokow in Bolton, as if to say, hey, look at that, man. <laughs> Walks in with the knees. Good uh, sweep as well. I think he's technically gifted. Uh, Gazambo. Top, 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 top. Bouncing back, just has a look and just goes southpaw momentarily. I don't think he, he's not a banger, is he, Kazambo? Is he not, no, not I think he's good at a lot of things. Yes. And can do a lot of techniques, but he's not good. He doesn't sit on his shots, yeah, does he? Doesn't you know? Some of the kicks he's throwing, he's very flat footed and just sort yeah. of lifts them up and just, just a touch, you know, it's not, there's not much damage going on there, so. Yeah. He's got well, a good skill, know, skill level. He's got skill level, he'll develop that, he'll find some oh. that he. See? He, see you go. He'll find some that he's, you know. Oh! Yeah. Spin off! Okay. Spin attack. Was, wasn't it? Like yeah. Oof. Good elbow. Hey, hey, hey. Nice body kick there. He's just got good balance. He, you know, I, you know, I bet you he could really develop into a really yeah, nice, yeah. stylistically yeah, you know, pleasing fighter. You know, yeah, the Zambo. Let's not forget. He's on, on, on Three rounds at the start of the card. He's, you know, he's got a long way to go, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of development to go, and you know, with a bit more experience. See a, a really interesting fight. Yeah. Oh. So smiling, he really looks, feels like he's won at campus. But I don't think he has. Do you? No, I don't think he has. No, I don't no. either. So just join us here on Yoko 46, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up later on, I know a few people are asking on uh, Facebook, and I will tell you that Shan Kangalosi will be battling Sanchai at the end of the show for the Diamond Belt. And uh, Pascal Amarusu, Amoroso will be battling Manachai, Yoko Sanchai, Jim, and Christian Fastino will be battling Fight hard, Yokao Sanchai Jim. There are three or five three minute rounds of full Muay Thai action. Europe so, ladies and gentlemen, time. after the full three rounds, our judges have reached a unanimous decision in favor of your winner in the red corner, yep. Damien Kazambo. And your appreciation, please, for the general campus. Thought it was a little ambitious, to be honest. Um, yeah. Campus holding his hands up. There you go. We can always live in hope, can't we?
So our next contest, ladies and gentlemen, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Ricardo Cristani. So we move on then, don't we? And um, justifiably so. Ricardo Cristini then, 63.5 kilos. Let's see what he's like. So ladies and gentlemen, don't forget our next show will be a very, very interesting one indeed. On March the 7th, live from the Macron Centre in Bolton. Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Ricardo Cristiani. Headlining one of them will be Liam the Hitman Harrison facing Jeremy Payette. Dean James versus Darren Rowland. And facing Ricardo this evening, his opponent in the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Jonathan Astarita. So Jonathan Astarita then makes his way to the ring. As I'm saying though, on March the 7th, Joe Craven will defend his British number one at 72.5 kilos against Niall Brown. And that is a very hard fight indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, also, I'd like to give a very, very special get well soon to Sken Kjalpanung, Grandmaster Sken Kjalpanung in England, who got me involved in this beautiful sport, who's just been recently not well. We could be the very, very best. Ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner. Jonathan we do, indeed, yeah, we do. I wish him, I wish him a speedy recovery. Yeah, if it weren't, sure. if yeah. it weren't for Grandmaster Sken, I wouldn't be here. Neither would be Darren Phillips. And this, listen, he was, he was part of spreading the sort of sport of Muay Thai in England and Europe, and we can't thank him enough for that. And we wish him a speedy recovery. And best wishes and our love to his wife, Kate, also. Well, he's not, not, he's not just a pioneer. He, he's, a, he's a very nice man as well. Oh, he's course. a good man, you know, so yes. all the best to him. And, very uh, best. All the best to him and his family. Indeed. So then we move on, and here's the stats then 29 fights for Astrita and 18 fights for Cristana. 14 wins. Good records, these two. So we'll see. 63.5 kilos of action. You know, we shouldn't count things away, we shouldn't whisk things away. But no. Payette versus Jeremy Payette versus Harrison on March the seventh in Bolton is a scorcher. On paper, oh, that is a really, 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 really good fight. Two, two guys who will come and, and try and always try and finish the fight with a pair of them. So absolutely, uh, absolutely. It's uh, a real fan. Destroy Craig yeah. Dixon, didn't he? Yeah, I wasn't there. Oh, goodness me, yeah, yeah. It's with a, elbows. It's a real, it's a real one for the fans. You know, it's a real one for the crowd. That one. It's just Harrison does put on a very, very sparkling performance when he goes in the ring, and I am never, ever biased. <laughs> right, Ricardo <laughs> Cristini. <laughs> then in the green and white, in the purple and black, is his opponent, Jonathan Astari. I think we've seen uh, Jonathan Astari. We have seen him fight before, yeah, yes. I actually I think remember his South hair. Yeah. Remember the haircut. Yeah, we have seen him fight before. <clears throat> is, that, is, is, that, is that a twin? Is that his twin brother? Yes, he has, right yeah. twins, yeah. We might not have seen him fight before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's not a South Bar either. <laughs> Shout out this brother. kid in the green. Yeah. Very high. Fast high kick. Both, both men fast. 
Yes. Cristiano is very quick. Yeah. Fast on his feet, moving around nicely. He's going to try and scruff him out of it, isn't he? Yeah. Jonathan has to eat that. And he's got to, really. Yeah, we have seen him fight before, Jonathan Astorita got booted all over the show by um, Yodchai. That was it. Yep. Yep, yep. yep. That was it. Yep. So my memory comes back there. My wisdom. Slides. <laughs> left hook, right hand, with the left hook on the end. Right, so I like the way he's whipping that left leg up after he finishes. It's, it's good. Yep. Yeah, Ooh, that was a bit. Yeah. Yeah, he's just trying to rough him out a bit. The nice, pretty technique. Be scruffed by Asterita. That was a nice right hand bounce off the chin. Cristini. He's doing the right thing. He's shattered the wind out of his sails, isn't he? And slow him down. Yeah. And keep the speed, the speed advantage that he's got. Or in doing so. Stop, dive, stop. Okay. That's going to come down again, dive. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice body kick. Stored with a body kick, but he, he's just like sweeping across, isn't he? There's nothing in it. When he knees him up. Okay. That was a bit of a twisty off, wasn't it? Flew across the floor and didn't. Nice. He's, he's, he's playing a bit of his own game now. You know, he's. Yeah. Looking up Astorita a bit himself as well, getting in the clinch. He's fastest boy in the green and he's got Shot. lots of tricks, but he, he's more like a, a kickboxer, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. And he, and he holds his chin yep, very yep, high yep. in the air yeah. as well, which is a bit unnerving. Especially for the speed he comes in at yes. as well. He doesn't. He comes in in very straight lines, isn't he? And a bit worrying. See someone capitalising on that one. Then. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's not. It, it, it's it's gonna it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit scruffy this fight, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, Jonathan Asterita can't stand on the outside and let this boy dance. No, you no. Know? Do you like how I said dance? I like then? the way you, uh, you know. What? I sounded very, first, very, and even Darren very... Phillips is nodding in approval of my when I said dance. When you said dance, I, I, all I thought about was Christopher. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. Stay You've away. got hair like Christopher. <laughs> 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 he had the worst hair ever, didn't he? I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen better hair on bacon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I digress. Well, ladies and gentlemen, look, we've got Lyoko Lovely there, the lovely Yoko Angels. Um, need shoes on that you could break your neck in them. We're going to round number two then, uh, after our brief hiatus of being daft. And uh, the green and white shorts is for Christini, Jonathan Astarita in the black, purple, Dive. and yellow. Just. Round two. Take him down. Any chance he yeah. gets, just to, just to take him off his rhythm and off his beat. Yep. Yeah, I mean he's just bustling his way. 
be better as well. Cristiani starts at everything with hooks. He start through the middle as well. Oh, oh that, that was nice. nice. That we both said that he did, did we? Ooh, that nice. Stereo. <clears throat> that was nice. Was. Yeah, he's get back on the jab and try and go through the middle a little bit, then go around the sides with the hooks. Cocky doing all sorts of like trickery, a bit like Paul Karpowitz. Yeah. His box of tricks. His base is a bit suspect as well, isn't it? He's quite easy to get kicked Stop. off his feet. And... Yeah. Astarita is just going to walk on him, get his hands, glue his hands to his head, walk forward and just smack him with elbows and and stuff like that. And, you know, and just, just old man him out of it, really, scruffy him out of it, you know? Yeah. Tied it again. again yeah. That was sneaky as well. Hey! Yep, yep. Yep. It's more taekwon taekwondo esque type um, skills, isn't it, Gav? You know? Yeah, yeah, very flashy, very quick. Fleet of foot. That's not allowed, is it? Okay. Leg uh, tripping over like that. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we can't sit here and say, oh, this is good, because it's not, and I'm not really a massive fan of the way it's going. Um, but. You've got Sunshine coming up later on, stop complaining. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, sitting watching the all-time great uh, in stop. about a half an hour or so. So, yeah, he's, he, everyone's not, it's not going to please everyone, is it? And it's certainly not of my taste, Gav. You no, know? no, it's, uh, I have to join you in that, in that thought, to be honest with you, but, you know, they have got to start somewhere. Uh, some of these guys, so roughing them out of it again there. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying, and they have got to start somewhere, but it's 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 just not gelling, is it? You know? No, 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 no. No, no it's it's a question of uh, two fighters, one trying to fight by using what he knows, and the other one trying to stop the other one from. from from doing what he's yeah, I agree. And I, and, I, and I kind of don't really like that, you know. No, honestly, no, do I. that's not what for me. That's what not, not what matchmaking's about, really. It's <clears throat> no. you know the the, the the opposing skills are supposed to complement each other and make for a good fight. And Come on. it's yeah. not good when right. one fighter's just trying to stop the other okay. one from fighting. So yeah. exactly yeah. right then. So three minutes of this. <laughs> Let's see. If it gets any more tasty oh, for Gavin. Dude. Round of three. Dive. Shut! Oh, oh he's oh. got his mad. He's mad now. All oh, right. Oh. That seems to wait for yeah, yeah. didn't it? Oh, he's got that. Work. Again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> up again. Oh, oh, and again. And again. Three on the bounce. It's not working, this. Getting mad. So. They seem more canvas than Vincent van Gogh. I like that. They? I like that. Like that. Good that. Yeah, Mr. Easy wasn't angry that long, was he now? No, he's calmed down now. He's... Sorry, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Good Lord. Come on. It's an ugly fight, this, not going to lie. Hasn't gelled. It's an ugly affair, but nevertheless. Uh, well, I can say. Nice body shot there. Yeah, it was. This kid's prettier to watch, isn't he? Um, yeah, definitely, yeah. Just Cristiani, but it's not... Uh, But he's, he's, uh, he's lots in he? He's full of confidence and 
he's not been the driver, you know, yeah. he's, 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 he's kept, kept yep. going and he's yep. not been... And he's winning. Yeah, and he's not been he's not been put off by the, by the, no. by the kind of spoiling tactics, has he? So. so he's stuck to his plan, stuck to what he wanted to do. You know, he's got half, it looks like he's got half his yep. hair yep. cut, doesn't it? So when he's got half his hair cut, when he turns around, it's like another fire, isn't it? <laughs> it is, look, it's like, oh, look, he is now, oh, it's a different guy. It is an interesting haircut, I have to say. See, look, it looks like normal hair there. It'll be nice, it'll be nice. Twist round in a minute. It'll be nice when he finish it. Yeah. Look, see. Put the left up there. It's yeah, and he, he, it's no power that's No, at all, no, and he's. Yep. And he's out, he's really outfoxing now, and the, the the more frustrated he gets, as the Rita, the more he he gets bamboozled by he's this fleet-footed. Yes, yes, telegraphing yes. everything, isn't he? So so, so really angry, and frustrated, yeah. just marching in, and like he is there, getting picked off. Yep. Corner applauding. Stop that. Stop that. Even the referee's getting frustrated, and it's, you know. There goes the bell. And uh, he holds his hand in the air, Asterisa, as if he's completed his mission, and I'm afraid it's uh, that's a mission aborted, isn't it, Gav? You know, yeah, it's not what I'd like to see run back no. again, that's for sure. It's, uh... Neither would I. I mean, he, he, he does what he says on the tin, doesn't it? You know, yeah. it's I'm not going to pretend that oh, and you know, and this. And it's uh, been a very up and down and strange. So, ladies and gentlemen, after the full three rounds, we now go to the judges' scorecards. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have a draw. Yeah. Wow. I'm not surprised. Oh well. I'm not surprised. Oh well. That, but... At least it's over. <laughs> That sounds awful, but I mean, honest, it wasn't, it didn't, did it? You know, I, I'm spoiled. You know, I have to admit, I am spoiled. We're all spoiled when you do something like this, as a Yoko, and you get to see Sanchai and people like that. Yeah, so, you know, we're hard to please. So our next contest, ladies and gentlemen, bout number three, uh, once again scheduled for three three-minute rounds between, and firstly, introducing in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Martin Mione! So Martin Mione then, an unknown quantity to me. 70 kilos, uh, three three-minute rounds of Muay Thai action. You know, earlier, I had a double take. He looked like um, Andy Miller from Scotland. Yeah. But a to bit taller version, like. We'll see. Our referee tonight is Mr. Darren Phillips. All the way from GFC. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Martin Mione. Tall for the weight. Martin Mione, 70 kilos, 154 pounds, 11 stone in Old English. And facing Martin this evening, his opponent in the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Filippo Soleil. So Filippo Soleil then. Soleil. He looks happy, doesn't he? Bounces his way into the ring and high-fiving the various. Let's 
see what he's like. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Filippo Salida. Martin Mione then. In the purple and black shorts, in the green and white is his opponent, Filippo Sohi, as I said. I'll say. There's a start set. A little bit more experience for Filippo. There's quite a few losses. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know what's going on in the world of Yokao, www.yokao.com, have a look at that. And you can have a look at Instagram, which is always fun seeing an inside look into the world of Muay Thai from the perspective of Yokao. That recently seen all these guys train, getting ready for these fights and getting ready to do battle as they are tonight. They've had two wins so far. And will they make it five out of five? The next three fighters will be coming up after this fight and the next one. So it's penultimate one until you see the ties. Again. Darren Phillips is our referee. And GFC camp, very established part of the Yokao team, especially in Bolton. And that's March the 7th when we're going to be seeing some absolute scorchers. Of fights again. Switching southpaw and orthodox. Filippo. Very busy. I think he's going to get mugged here, Gav. Yeah, I think. In a strange and orthodox style. Yeah. Hey, come on, kid! Yeah, I know. Scampering around, isn't he? Just yeah. He only needs to cut him off. And yeah. Sometimes if someone just puts themselves on the back foot for no reason. And um, yeah, it's an interesting one. It's a really strange style. One of those styles where you feel like you don't really know what they're doing. No, no. Well, you tend to tend to find this when the basics aren't taught properly. You, you know, you, you don't. There's no basics there. No jab. No shape. No base. No clue. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. So he's gonna be pretty poor at everything rather than good at a few different things. You know. I'm good at the basics and then use your imagination, put them together. Whereas, this doesn't make for good fights, unfortunately. Yeah. Might be wrong. I hope I am. Yeah, Martin Mione just needs to just go forward. Yeah. I mean, he's doing that, isn't he? So. Already got reddening on the face of Filippo. Yeah. 
I know it's where basics come in, come in useful when you get someone like this who's moving around a lot. Yeah. Just basic ring craft, you can cut them off, you yeah. can make them walk, you can have them walking into things, you know. And he's following him around the ring, not cutting the, the ring thing. off, it's, you know. It's, it's just such basic stuff where you just, you know. And in Muay Thai as well, though, you can march them down, yeah. you know. Um, horse what, lift your knees yeah. up and just yeah. walk in. And he needs to be doing that now, really. I'll pin him into the corner, you know. Yeah. Get his head on his chest now, lock his arms together and just bang away with the knees. Yeah. Slippery customer, isn't he? Yeah, he's all... Filippo. Many things at once. Here's some of the action, you know. He's just, I don't know, I don't know. He's just un un he's ungainly, uh, isn't he? He's un ungainly, yeah, he's, uh, but he's, not. He's unorthodox as yeah. far as he's. But he, it's all right, we can all be unorthodox. Yeah, I think Anyone that's, can. I think that's a very generic term, that. It's, it's being unorthodox on and being purpose. effective. You can be unorthodox on purpose and, like you say, be effective. Yeah. And you can be unorthodox and just kind of like not really have any sort of plan, any coherent plan and just kind of bumble about and that's what he's, yeah. that's what he's kind of doing at the moment. Corner! Corner! And drop! Martin needs to just march forward, doesn't he? You know, just really close his hands in and just march him down. He's, he's going to run out of gas himself just yeah, by. I've said before about these kind of these kind of unorthodox kind of no plan styles is that you've got to be really 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 fit to carry them out, and um, it's just lots of movement, unnecessary movement, um, and you know if you march them down. He, he will, will run out of energy, he will run out of stamina, he run out of steam, always he run out of steam. Very, very few of them that can, yeah. can stick at it. Yeah. He's just following though, that's the only thing, he's just, just, just following him and cut him off, it's, step it's across. It's a negative style though, isn't it? Mm. Filippo, it's a negative style, it's not a, a style of you know, of combat, really. It's just, it's not, it's not setting traps or anything like that. You know what I mean? It's just moving back for the sake of moving back. Well, he's moving back in to, to, to avoid being hit. You know, which is, yeah, that's all well and good, but that's yeah. about it. There's, there's no end, no end purpose to it. No. There's no plan to it. Or if there is, I'm missing it. Yeah, I mean, well, Martin should be. Well, it's all right, be saying it, but there's other ropes outside of the ropes, but that's what we'll pay to do. And um, it should be. Now he's just sort of like he's run out of ideas himself. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not much I can say, really. Just it, it's, it's a negative style, and Martin doesn't seem to have the tools to be able to imp, imp, imprint his will yeah. on Filippo. Nice score in there. Well, his body kicks, although no power. But...
Yeah, he's, um, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what to say, really. I don't, I'm just at loss for what to uh, translate. We can already see that he's uh, a negative style of the way he is, and the way he's moving, etc. And Martin doesn't seem to have the dig. Kind of lacks the ambition as well, Gavin, you know? I, uh, I, think just, I think he's a little bit, you know, he hasn't got any idea of kind of how to cut him off, and when he cuts him off, what to do when he does. Follows him about. Yeah. So anyway, what can I tell you? Well, I can tell you something. And if you want the best oh, shorts or the best, look, the best dressed in town, with the best kitted out, you better go over to yokow.com and get yourself some gear. So I look all handsome and all pretty in your shorts or your gloves or your shin pads, whatever you want. That's good. Get over there and get them. Now. Sure. Yeah, I mean, the mirror image of the last one. Uh, Martin, now Martin's getting more ambitious. Why don't you kick the body, though? You know, it, it's harder to get away from if you volley the body in half. Better. He's come with some intelligence yeah. at least this round, hasn't he? To pin him down and yeah. put on the end of his hand, it's just good. He should just throw body kicks. Yeah. It'll walk into him anyway, you know? Leg kicks, he can move his leg away from it. A body kick, you can you can stand from a longer distance and there. be able to throw it, you know? And from that distance, he can body kick from here, yeah. you know? Darren will let them work in the clinch um, until they get the hips too close like there and then they can't throw the technique at all. Um, they clashed heads there. Uh, last minute and a half or so. And, um, yeah, it's the order of the day has been just a negative. Yeah, yeah. For the cla real clash of styles in the last two fights, it's been a real clash of styles. Yeah, it has. Uh, it has. It's not been, not been easy on the eye, that's for sure. No. But it is the undercard, and you know what? I mean, it is a little bit different, like shopping at Aldi and then shopping at Harrods, isn't it? When you watch Sanjay, then watch anybody else. Yeah. Because we know we're going to get. Well, you, know? you can get a meal, for, a meal for two for ten pound from Tesco, or you can get a meal for two for twelve pound from Marks and Spencer's. You know what I like? I like Marks and Spencer's Masaka. I've not had oh, that. Gastro pub, I, I, I like the lasagna. I do. I like, but I do like the masaka. Right, so <laughs> he's just now he's heated up. The action's heated up, really. Oh, <laughs> we're talking about masaka. And um, this is what Martin should have done from the beginning of the first bell. I think if he'd have done this from the from the beginning, you know. He would have had actually an easier time throughout the fight. And I don't know who's won. Do you? No, I don't. No. I'm not entirely sure. decision and I'll have to spark myself up a little bit because I've been subdued I'm not gonna lie it wasn't great was it no Shh, 
Well, there you go. But he tried the best in blah, 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 and it takes two to tango. And okay, fighters, to the blah, center blah, blah, of the ring. Blah. The other cliche things, look, with Sanchez coming up soon, and Christine, Christian Fastino. Uh, once again, ladies back. and gentlemen, your appreciation for both fighters. But after the full three rounds, we now go to the judges' scorecards. And the judges have reached a unanimous decision in favor of your winner in the blue corner, Martin Mioni. And your appreciation, please, for Philly Paul And he's happy. And so am I. Yeah, I'm happy for different reasons. I am indeed. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we have one more fight. And then we have some absolute scorches. And my favorite Italian, Christian Faustino, who gave Liam Harrison a torrid time. He took everything that Harrison could throw. And Harrison can whack a little bit, I've heard, Gav. He, he, I've, there's a rumor going there's round. There's a rumor yeah. going round. And um, he took every single shot and didn't even get phased. Well, he didn't get phased, he got hurt, of course. But he, he kept going and going and going. And let's see what he can do tonight against Viper from Yorkau Sanchai Jim. And Pascal Amoruso versus Manachai and Shan Kangalosi for the Diamond Belt. So now, belt. ladies and gentlemen, we're Sanchai ready to move on to bout number Sanchai four. And uh, once again, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And let me, first of all, introduce to you in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Jim! So then, Jean Jackie then, our next fighter to enter the arena here in Turin in Italy. You know what? I came back from Thailand on Thursday. I had a riff, horrific journey back. And then I was whisked off straight here to meet my old friend Gav. We've had a good time. We've been treated. We have, we have. So we'll see then, Gene Jackie, what he's like here on your car. Big lads. Yes. Yeah, Gene Jackie. Well, once again, ladies kilos. and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Jackie. And facing Jackie this evening, his opponent in the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Luca Andrani. Luca Andrani then, making his way to the ring. You know what, they're unknown quantities to me. I'm sure their fans will be watching at home. You've just shown us here on Yokao 46. Where have you been? Where have you been? You call yourself fans of Muay Thai. If you don't like me, you can always turn me down. That's all right. I don't mind. Still want to fight. Uh, but nevertheless, if you are a fan, you will know that the man himself, Sanchai, will be coming up very soon. And I'm told by Fipa, about Fipa, Yokao, Sanchai Jim, is meant to be Once amazing. again, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Luca Andrade. Luca looks nervous to me. Our referee is Mr. Steve Broom from England. Yeah, so I'm told that uh, Christian Faustino has a very, very dangerous opponent in the form of Viper, a legit killer, I am told by a reliable source, he's really good with elbows, and his last kick is scandalous. So we'll see, there's the stats then. 
I don't know really much about Jean Jacqui from France. But France, a very good Muay Thai nation indeed. A very good not Muay Thai nation indeed. And I'll tell you why, that the only person, only Falang, as we say, foreigner, to hold a win over Sanchai is from France. And his name is Fabio Pinka. Good Pinka, isn't he? Very, very, Just annoying very about good. Pinka. I mean, he's, he's so good. He's proper good looking as well. He's, he's and he's the, French. He's the uh, he's a triple threat, isn't he? Is what he is. Yeah, he's triple a triple F. Fit French and fights. Is that ready? <laughs> That is Judge just no. No. Well out of order. Judge Reddy. Uh, Fabio Pinky. Uh, uh, kick back. Get away. Yeah, really good at fighting. Uh. I'll need to nick your bird. Yeah. <laughs> nick your wife. Get away. Uh, found Fabio Pinker in bed with your wife. What do you do? You just tuck her in and say, on you go, Fabio. <laughs> 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 oh. Divorce papers are in the post. <laughs> so, the blue and orange is Jean Jackie, who we've never seen fight before, and Luca Andriani, who we know his record. Received from France, he will be a good fighter, I'm sure. Round three three-minute rounds, Top. our final fight oh, between two Europeans. At least. Very upright. Very upright, chin on the stick. Yeah. Can you stand that high with your neck in the air? You can't. Chuck. You can't. The thing is, he looks one of these awkward kind of really tall, rangy. Jackie might have trouble initially breaking him down. Spinning elbow. Andriani. He's uncertain himself, though. Yeah, yeah, um, I mean, he's a bit of a live wire, I think, until, yeah. he, until he actually, you know, slows down a little John bit. Jackie, he looks Jackie's going nervous himself with the way he's moving. Yeah. You've just got to try and bomb his head off, haven't you? You have. You, you have. really have. You, you have. You hit the body of fake and just go upstairs yeah. and... I'll whack the legs and come round or over the top with something. It was a big elbow, though, from Andriani. Yeah, you've got to be, be, give the big guy Andriani something really to think about, really to, 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 to step back. And, otherwise, he'll keep launching those attacks at you. Yeah. And eventually, Jack. you know, want to land. Chuck! Come on, Chuck! Jackie looks a little bit overawed by this. Isn't yeah, he's, he's scampering. Look at his yeah, feet, though. And, and, and Andrew has a good start. Look how he pads his feet, though, yeah, up and down yeah. nervously, you know? It's like movement for yes, movement's sake, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. You know, it's very, very draining. Especially when Stop. you're nervous as well. And yeah. It's very draining. Nice jab. Oh, nice jab, Scott, today. No one's got a lock on. They've, you know, they've both got one hand on the neck. You no, know, they've not really crashed, yeah. clashed on, and no. then, you know, Chuck. wore them down. And Good job. Just to walk himself forwards. Good knee. Lost position in the clinch there. Jackie, elbow on, on the side of the head. Neither utilising the clinch either. No, they're, they're not, they're no, not at all. You know. Chuck, come on, Chuck. Oh, he really walks into an elbow there. Jackie's found a little bit of. It's not through a long le left hook or a, you no. know, or a, a right hook or a, you know. I think we might see this next round. Our both both fighters settle down a lot more, especially Jackie. I think now they've got that initial kind of, you know. They look, both look a little bit nervous. And Very bit, nervous, you know, yeah. Jackie more so. I think, uh, you know. And yeah, but imagine Gavin being, you know, being a young guy. Oh, of course. And then in the back there. Of course. Knowing that you could hear Sanchai kicking pads. Of or, course, of course. You're going to be difficult. like. It's very difficult to keep your head, you yeah. know, and um, 
as I say, I think sometimes a lot of it, a lot of when you see these guys come out, you'll see them have maybe a bad first round yeah. until that nervous energy goes. Yeah. And when they settle down, I actually get a little bit tired and a bit fatigued. Yeah. And take a couple of shots and they, they settle right in there. So I'm hoping we'll, we'll see a little bit of a better round than the next one. Yeah. See more, a bit more relaxed. Corner. Come on. Let's go. Come on. So wise on. words on. from the man sat next to me, as ever, the resident. Mr. Gavin Sterrett, European champion, former European champion. Round number two then. Nice push kick. The faster start, but he's still doing, he's still that unnecessary movement, that jerky. Why did he I can't see, I don't understand why that jerky hasn't punched it over the top. No. He hasn't thrown anything Good. like that. Good. Yeah. Chop. I can't understand it. I can't understand why he's not thrown a shot over the top. Back. I think maybe he's wearing the knee or the way the push kick or something. Every time he, every time he throws everything, uh, Andrea lifts his leg up. Yeah. Good. Back. I mean, Andriani, it's always Stop. easier when you're on the outside of the ropes. Go, turn. Up, up, up. To, uh, Stop. to say what you think we should say or do or whatever. He's trying to. It's like he's fighting a fighter that's the same yeah. height as him. Yeah, and he's yeah. not. Yeah, clearly not. I, the, the funny thing, the, the silly thing is, the body is there for the taking. Of course, goes high. It is. He, he, he's wide open because he is so tall. Yeah, I mean. And Gianni's. Landed Stop. some good knees and, st uh, and, and stuff like that. I just, I just can't understand the plan of it. It's like he's not jabbed to the body, come up with a left hook, right hand, or you know, or jab to the chest and whack the leg, kick in hard. Oh, that was a good elbow there. Good, good. My opinion, though, I think Jackie looks a little bit shot shy. He, he, he does seem so little, a little bit shot yeah, shy, so a little bit overly concerned about yes. being hit, you know. Yeah. It's may have may have been on the end of a knockout, Gav. Maybe, maybe, yeah. possibly. Yeah. So it might be just a little yeah. bit too overcautious. Stop. Tentative, you know? yes. Stop. I agree. Yes. Yeah. Stop. And it's coming forwards. He's just, you know, even. Oh, he tries to get an elbow, elbow in there. That long. Oh. Andriani should be doing that, throwing these elbows and just using that long guard, stepping in and stepping in with knee and. Stop! Good! Good! Turn! Turn! Go! Chop! Chop! Looks really tired. He's going back to his corner, Andriani. Difficult. See, no one's really taking control in the clinch either. You know, both, both, this with Andriani, the, the tall guy and the leverage, you would think he would be quite well versed in the clinch. You'd think he'd yeah. enjoy it. It'd be one of the big advantages, but neither fighters took control there. But I think Andriani's bossing this fight for me up to now. Yeah, he is. And I mean, he's just not wowing anyone. No. And it's just, and, and the reason is because it's a clash of styles that hasn't really took the bull by the horns, if you will, you know? Go on, let's go! Right, let's go! Blue, come on, Blue. Last round, touch gloves, touch gloves. Go back, chop! Last round. So here we go then, round number three. Chop! to put pressure on Andriani all the time now because he looks tired and worse for wear. Good. 
It's little instances, yeah. isn't it? I yeah. turned his hips in the clinch. Yeah. He? You know where he can be thrown, he yeah. can't throw a knee back. That was a good right hand, though. Yeah. Yud! 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 Chuck! Sees more, more urgency in Jackie in this round than, yes. than any of the previous Chuck. two. Coming forward, done, yeah. looking for his shot. Chuck. Pushes him off wearily. Comes forward again, scoring with the knee, scoring with the knee again. Good, good. Minute gone of this Chuck. third round. And you just join us here, ladies and gentlemen, in Yokal 46. Coming up is three sensational full rules, good. five rounds Muay Thai contest. Chuck. Some very best fighters from Thailand so and including an all-time great so don't go away yut, yut. Chuck. Chuck. half a round left just no one's really just it's not gelled this fight Chuck. he scored with the knee and then pushed himself back out again Jackie Crowd trying to get behind Luca Andrani. Yes. Behind me. And the will there charge on. Chuck. Takes a combination. Swapping knee for knee, but there's no dig in the Mr. Gavin. There's no, no real. There's no, there's, no, there's, no, there's no sharpness to it. No. It's just lifting them up. There's no, no leverage to it. Especially with the, the size of the guys as well. Yes. It's both tall. Both got leverage. They're not, they're not really leaving into the knees or the clinch. They don't really know. You can see they don't really know the basics of Clint's. They're not, no. you know, they're not well versed in it, no. which is a bit of a shame. So, hence the scrappy nature of the fight. Yeah. Yud, yud. Well, last 30 seconds. Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Chuck. Sneak elbow. Yud, yud. From Chuck. Luca Andrani. Chuck. There's a right hand, there's the first punch he's thrown. That's yeah. been up there like a right hand, you let know. Go, let go, Chuck, Chuck. Oh. And then he falls out there. And the bell will come. And not soon enough for me. <laughs> there you go. So we'll see then who wins what and what goes where. So, ladies and gentlemen, after the full three rounds, we now go to the judges' scorecards. And the judges have reached a unanimous decision in favour of your winner in the blue corner, Jackie! There you go then. And your appreciation please for Luca Quite surprised Yeah, I mean it. I think that fight was very difficult to score in general. Don't know any judges there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, we've, we've been mellowed a bit, haven't we? Really, been a bit subdued, you know, a bit sort of lackadaisical, lacking our spa. Listen, we'll be right back with this now. Dougie introduces what is going to be that cackle in the background <laughs> is Brian Calder. I don't know what's going on. 
He must have some sort of disease. He's actually laughing. If you know Brian Calder, uh, who's a promoter, so he's as miserable as the I've never, never five, heard him laugh. Three minute rounds <laughs> between. And firstly, introducing in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Christian Faustino. So I like this kid, Christian Faustino. As I said, he gave Liam Harrison a torrid time. He was handily outpointed, but he was very, very tough indeed. I'm told by a reliable source, Mr. Harrison himself, that Fipa Yokao Sanchai Jim is lethal with weapons, weak uh, with elbows, great weapons, and a left kick. It is scandalous. Those are his words, and you can't get more insight than that. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Christian Faustino. Also been the distance with Sanchai. Christian Fastino. And facing Christian in this international super prestige contest, his opponent in the red corner, all the way from Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Faipa! Jim. So make his way to the ring then is an unknown quantity to me, the Southpaw sensation, I am told, is Faipa Yokao Sanchai Jim. Mean spirited and doesn't come to play. Let's see. I've been looking forward to seeing seeing uh, Fiper fight. Once today. again, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Fiper Yoko Sanchai Jim. So I'm just told by a reliable source, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that actually Liam did stop Christi, uh, Christian, didn't he? Yes, he oh, did. Uh, yes, yeah, he did. It, it, I apologise. Where were we? But he went the distance with uh, Dublin. Yes. Dublin. Yeah, he stopped him. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. There you go. We'll see. Yeah, he did. He did. But what a tough guy he is. This should be exciting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Been looking forward to this. Looking forward he to this fight. Who doesn't yeah. like love Muay Thai? Having like we do. Oh yeah. Do you ever think if about if you like Muay, if you didn't have Muay Thai and you didn't find it, what your life would have been like? What, what well, would have become of your life? I, I'd like to think. I'd be dead, probably. I'd like There's to think something along the lines. Something along very for civilized, maybe golf. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I Darts, guess golf, yeah. Bowls. Snooker, something yeah. like that. Something Brown, that, green, bowling. Something that didn't involve me getting out of breath. No, honestly, if it wasn't for Muay Thai, I genuinely, genuinely would be dead. And uh, more so than. Grandmaster Sken Kjalpadung, who uh, got me into this sport, seeing his in incredible skill. And uh, uh, he has been a little bit worse for wear recently, health-wise. We wish him all the very best from everyone at Yokal. And everyone that knows uh, Grandmaster Sken will know that he has been a big influence in the Muay Thai, the sport of Muay Thai in England and Europe and all around the world. So we wish him and his lovely wife, Kay, a speedy recovery. And we'll see you very soon. We'll see you very, very soon in, in the March the 7th, where his fighter, his protege, Niall Brown, will be, def will be contesting the number one spot against Joe Craven from the Bad Company Gym. It's a good fight. In Leeds, it's a hard That's fight a for both fight. lads. That's a good fight. Yes, it is. It's a hard fight for both uh, lads indeed. Niall lives it, and he's always in the gym. Joe mixing it with the Bad Company boys. It's uh, yeah, it's a pick em, Gavin. It's not it's, an easy fight. It's not, no. It's, uh, again, another example. Yeah. Fan-friendly fight. Very interesting. Wouldn't like to pick a winner there. No, never would I. But I will enjoy watching it. We'll also be seeing Dean James in action against Darren Rowland. 
Darren Brown is a WBC world champion. Dean, not as active as he should be, in my opinion, but then again, if you've not got the fight, his commitments are different, but he's a great fighter, Dean, and that will be an absolute scorcher. And that's coming up on uh, 47 okay. and 48 on the okay. 7th of March in Bolton. Tickets will go like that. Click of the fingers time, not like Thanos, where everyone disappears <laughs> in the universe. Not a fan of him. No. No, he had a warped view of, good, of things, didn't fella. he? Wasn't a good no. chap. No, I've got a bit totally of got rid of it. Anyway, sorry. White shorts is uh, Christian Faustino, and the orange, black, and white is Orfeifer. Ah. Round one. one. Quite happy to stand right in front of each other, aren't they? There? Yes. Not, not, no, uh, no, no finding. Which we'll find at each other. looking for the elbow isn't he see yeah pushing the arms down and just having a look beautiful teep very kick. nice that. you see the power in in this kid yeah he's, he's not strong. he's definitely not come to play as he? he's no. not come to he's not come to sort of feel this out and you now it's Faustino Faustino no. either he's, he's That's heavy. I think with Fastino, I feel when I was to watch him with Liam, I, did, I felt he wasn't very strong with the strong in the leg, strong in legs. It's caught already. Oof, yep. Let's see. That was a nice knee. Left knee again. Looking for space for the elbow. Oh, knew he would. Yeah, oh, again, he's caught him again. Yeah. For that one, exactly the same, exactly the same place. Yeah. It's not a dangerous place it's on the side. Astino comes back with his own. Then locks the guard down, so strong and. Something's happened with his arm. Yeah. I think his shoulders come out, you know. What happened there? Something know, happened something, there. So, yeah. he's, not, he's uncomfortable with something. Yeah. Heavy body shot. Something happened with his arm there. Mm. He's looking at his shoulder and hitting his shoulder for some reason. Yeah, it seemed to, I don't know whether he got a twinge in it or something or other. Yeah. But he wasn't comfortable for a minute, was he? No. Both fighters found the range nice and early. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you see it there, there, then it's yeah. uncomfortable, just, just the sugar of the shoulders, just, yeah. trying, to, just trying to get something right. Yeah, indeed, I mean, but he's 
mean spirited. And you've seen the elbow on the inside, cut him yeah, straight he's, away. He's, 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 there's a venom in him. There's, yeah. You know, he's, he's not. He, he doesn't look like it. You know. Dare I say it? Traditional kind of Thai. Yeah, he doesn't you know, want to. Not coming to slow. No, no, take you no. out. Yeah. You know, he's not going to wear you down. He's going to try and he's going to try and wipe you out. Some of the best arounds for Round two. Christian. <laughs> left kick, left kick, and then. He's busy as well. He's, he's shoulders gone, shoulders, you know. Shoulders uh, give him some. Well, I could land that right. Brother, yeah. Something right with his shoulder. Nice right hand and a right elbow. That was a nice heavy low kick. Oh, oh again, he's caught him again. That was clever. He's absolutely doing a surgical job on this young man who's so brave. Swept him, just hit him with an elbow and then kicked him underneath. Push kick, push kick, I've fake. I've not seen a performance fake. like this in meanness since Superlek Gavin. No, no. <laughs> <coughs> Look at Faustino, have a go. Really putting it on him yeah. now. Really, really putting, putting it on him, him, but he's having a go himself. <laughs> Whipping elbows in everywhere. Good. Really sharp, like left push kick up yeah, tonight. Beautiful, Be yeah. Beautiful times. Stino still wanting to have a go. The thing is, he's very tough, and, 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 but he comes in front there. He's not doing, not doing enough, not no. doing enough. You could see though, Gavin, from the beginning how he just traps the arms, yeah, yeah. pushes your arms in. Beautiful. I mean, this is. Elbows landed. You exactly know, it's not often place. you see though a, a, a fighter, you know, just walking in with elbows and, and, and pouring on the pressure. Look at that. It's absolutely. I mean, it's brutal to see, but beautiful to watch. Does that make sense? Of course it does. He's, he's, he's varying up his work beautifully. He's technically brilliant. And, and you like you, you do you do like to see that little bit of venom. You do like to see it every now and then, you know, in, in, in certain fighters. You want to see fighters try and finish fights sometimes. It's, uh, it's all very well to, you know, look, look at the, the, yeah. the technical aspect of stuff. But you do sometimes go, you do appreciate fighters yes. that go, we're not going to the judges, you know? Yeah. That was, that was so clever. clever. Really clever. So clever. Oh, oh side is on. I'd be surprised if that they can cut him. That was like a, just a real dull thud of a, of, a, of a downward elbow on top of his It's absolutely head. frightening, this guy. He really is. So sharp. I just love how the way he locks. And that was beautiful work. I told you it was worth waiting for, didn't I, ladies and gentlemen? I don't lie to you. So he traps the hands. It's like the way he traps the hands and pushes them together. Just, he, just, he just started that round with real intent then. He's real intent, like, right, I want to get this job done. You know, I want to set myself up for either this round or the next round. He really, really, really changed gear in that round. It was good to see. You know it's one of these, tie, these ties where you want, you want to go and have a go at doing elbows on the pads or on the bag or yeah, yeah. I don't want to elbow anyone I never yeah. want anyone in my life ever again you know um, but it does make you want to practice it yeah you know and that's the beauty of it, 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 it they, they they stimulate you they inspire you to just go wow I mean you, you know you see the sport is so what's so beautiful about Muay Thai is there's always something new to see there's always something new to learn it's so many tricks that you'll never ever learn them all but that's the beauty of the journey I guess Corners, 10 seconds. a sport of beautiful violence seconds.
Done a good work on that. Done good work on that cut in the, uh, in Round the three. corner. Round three. See, that's something you don't see very often yeah, as well. Knee in the leg. Yeah, knee the leg, hurt yeah. the leg. He's not come to score, has he? He's come to no, knock out. No, Good elbow. Good elbow there, Pastino, too. The thing is, with elbows, Gavin, if you're in position to elbow, you're also in position yeah, to get elbow back. Which is why it's so entertaining, you know? It's... Uh, his yeah. arm's gone, you know. Um, yeah. His arm's dislocated. His arm's gone. One, two, three, four, His arm's gone. Five, six, He's finished. Seven, Darren doesn't need to count. Eight. Okay. He's dislocated his shoulder. Okay, but. Can't defend himself. No. I, I mean, it's. I, I don't you know, it's gone, it's, has it gone back in or? Don't know. I can't tell. It just it looked. It looked like it was in a bad way. He can't clinch with it. If he pulls it. Christian now's got. He can pull the arm down now, Gav. It's a shame if it goes like this. It is, this is the game. Shame. It is a real it shame. It is the game, it's, it's though, the, isn't it? It's, it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Yeah. Injuries. We saw it with Manachai as well, uh, I think, in the same place. Yeah. Uh, you know, last year. So, it does happen. His whole physical demeanour's changed, though, Gavin. Even his, the way he looks, his face. I don't know if it was dislocated. I don't. It, it looked like I, I don't, way, Gavin. I don't know. Because if it was dislocated, it, it just would it, be in a, in, a, in a real mess. I don't know. Can it, can it go back in? We've seen that before, haven't yeah. we? But it's give, well, it's, it's give Faustino a real new lease of life in this right fight. Good right elbow. Oh, God, it's such a hard game, this. Nice. Stepping in elbow. He's not clinching though, Gavin, and grabbing for the knee. So no. you can tell. That Obviously, he's, he's in some sort of discomfort. Of course. You know, something's not right with that shoulder. Good. Still giving him. Yeah. No, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh. He should stop the fight. Let him stop. Yeah, he stopped the fight. He's been stopped. You got to give. You got to give credit to Pastino. He stayed in there he, and look at him yeah. straight over as yeah, no. the sportsman. But I think he's. I think he's either torn his rotor cuff something. or he's dislocating mm -hmm. it or something's happened that is obviously causing him distress. And our medical team is straight in there, and it is a real bad shame, but a great win albeit through injury, uh, Fastino, and that's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's a shame, but he's so enjoyable to watch. This aggressive tie, five part. And uh, yeah, our, uh, our thoughts are with him. I mean, he's, he's not life-threatening, is it? You know, but it's, uh, it's Sad, he's nevertheless. He's in a certain bit of discomfort there, isn't he? He's yeah. Yeah, I mean, Fastino can... You know, he's the TKO so, ladies win. and gentlemen, in the closing seconds of round number three, our referee has stopped the contest, awarding this bout to your winner in the blue corner, yeah, Christian congratulations, Fostino. He didn't want to win like that. I'm sure he didn't, but he, he held and in there, Gav, and he did. And he did. You know, push the pace, and and, and that, you know. 
shame. A win's a win. But that happens. Yeah. That is just the way it goes, sadly. A very subdued crowd in a bit sort of oh well you know as it goes so now ladies and gentlemen we move on to the penultimate bout of the evening just two fights remaining and this one scheduled for five three minute rounds international super prestige contest between and firstly introducing in the blue corner ladies and gentlemen please welcome to the ring Pasquale Amoruso so as we uh, gather our thoughts we gather ourselves into a very very Strange ending to a fight. We move on and we have Pascale Amoruso. Let's see what Pascale is like. Here on Yoko 46. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Pasquale Amoruso. And facing Pasquale this evening, his opponent in the red corner, fighting out of the Yokao fight team in Bangkok, Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Manachai Yokao Sanchai Jim. Will make his way to the ring then, is a very popular young man indeed, Manachai Yokao Sanchai Jim. Had a few problems, uh, had a few controversial things go on in his life, but apparently he's back, he's on it, and he's up to it. Let's see. Very aggressive, good low kicker, and strong young man. Once Three again, ladies and gentlemen, in the red and corner, Manachai, Yoko Sanchai Jim. Manachai, we've seen fight before, we've seen him on Yokao in England, where he beat Panakos Yusef. And you've also seen him here, where he lost on injury. We'll see. To me, Mascal Amoruso is an unknown quantity. 33 fights and 9 losses, 208 fights and 94 losses from Manachai. Yeah, so our commiserations go over to uh, FIPA, or affectionately known as NUT, by everyone at the Yokao Training Center. We wish him a speedy recovery, and congratulations to Christian Fastino. Credit. Mate also lost to Mo Abderam on the Yokao show in Southampton. So, and Mo had an absolute scorcher of a highlight reel spinning elbow against Craig Coakley Ooh. a while ago. So we'll see. So after this, ladies and gentlemen, the diamond belt, the highest level of belt you can get in the world of Yoko. We have world title belt. We have intercontinental uh, title belts. We have national belts. Now we have a diamond belt, the very, very creme de la creme of belts. And 
Contesting that will be straight after this, the all-time great, the man that everybody loves to watch, the magician, the ma magical, gifted, talented, blessed, whatever you want to call it, Sanchai, PK Sanchai Muay Thai Gym, the Yokao Training Centre. This one will be Shan Kangalosi, who looked absolutely perfect on the weigh-in. It's in great shape, so we'll see. Well, that's coming up right after this. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's action, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's a mixed bag of things, isn't it? You know, we can't guarantee that every fight's going to be great. Can't guarantee that what we don't know, do we? No one knows that, but what I do know is that well, we can continue to bring you the very best Muay Thai fights in the world and as what we can bring you is action entertainment controversy or whatever you want to call it and that next one is coming up march the 7th me and gavin Sterry will be live for you at the macron center in bolton with some real real scorchers So let's see then. Scarlett Amaruso versus Manacha. Slow start. That's neat. Josh Scarlett. Big legs on him, Pascali, you know, for me. He's, he's big for the weight, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. He's very big for Slim the round the body, yeah. isn't he? When he came with his t shirt on, uh, he didn't look so big, but now he actually looks a lot bigger. Nice, tripling up the leg kick from Manachai. I don't think it's any secret Man Manachai is going to do. Jump. Nice high kick from Manachai. Good timing. Jump. Getting lulled into that hypnotic yep, yep. Muay Thai trance that happens when you're watching these fights. Nice sweep there from Manachai. Locked him up in the clinch there beautifully. Just setting the pace for himself, really, just having a look. Left hook, left upper cut, and a right hand. Pascali just. Chuck. Left kick, and then just. Nice jab and a hook, and a leg kick. Nice boxing from Manachai back. It's a good start, Mauri, so. It's a good start. Yeah. 
But I like the way Manachai's going back. Yeah, I think, you know, Amory so can't get, like you said before, can't get low, nice. low into this false sense of security where we're just going back and forth and your goal, yep, my yep, goal, yep, and your yep. goal, my goal, because yep. pretty soon it'll all be all your goal, your goal, your yep. goal, you know? So. Yeah, I mean, he's just he was, he was having a look, weren't he, both of them, really? Yes. Having a look at what's what and what's going on. And uh, nice and it's timing. Nice very timing. Very nice timing, there. wasn't it? So was yeah, that nice puzzled him to the floor. In the corner, along with Spencer working on Manachai, instruction being given by the team. It was a closely knit team, a family affair in that corner with the boss Filippo. And a dream, along with Stefania, to bring Muay Thai to Europe and a brand known the world over. What up? Very proud of them. I've what been up? With them since day one. When I was younger and fitter, smaller, round the waist, <laughs> handsomer, <laughs> sing at the foot mark. <laughs> Round number two, then. Done. Judge. Right to Marachai looks up for this today. Yeah, he does. He has to be as well. Yeah. He has to be. I feel like he wants to pull a bit of a statement on, wants to bit of, make a bit of a statement today. Pascal, he's had a strange sort of punch. Stop. Trying to have a leg kick there, Pascal. Start putting it on him to Manachai. Yeah, there's gonna be a pace change. Yeah. I, I think I think when you see the pace change from See we drop and need the leg then. Yeah. I think when you see the pace change, you, then you see start seeing the, the golfing kind of quality. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You know, that real top level. Yeah. Manachai should be targeting the body though. Oh, there you go. Good body Just shot. as I thought that. Just as I thought, it's straight away. Nice body shot. shot. Yeah. Body kit that was heavy. And Scarlett there just registering and smiling, and he's got to do more than what he's doing. That was a nice elbow on the inside from Manachai. Happy and content, Manachai, just to have a look here. Tried a body shot of his own, and he got countered with the elbow. Yep, yep. Scarlet. Shot. Nice left kick. Better kick back from Manajai. Nice timing. Very sharp. Yeah. 
really warming into this fight now. He's Enjoying himself in there, man. A giant yeah. smile on his yeah, face. That's good. Yeah. Well, depends on your point of view, whether it's good or not. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Some of the action just still warming up this, you know. But three, four, and five if it goes that far. And uh, I just think that Manachai just still not got out of first yet. Smiling face, happy in there. I'm telling him what to do and uh, how to do it as they do in corners. I'm sure that Pascale Amadou Sosa coach can tell him to. Corners 10 seconds. Second out. Start. It's going to heat up now. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Jack. Nice. Oh, that was good. That was good. good. Beautiful. Right through to the body. Oh. That was nice. That's sweeping yep. over top. Yep. Good sweep. He's found a nice rhythm now, Manatai. Yeah. Another good body shot. Nice. And he hit him with the right hand as well. Good combination. Fox his way out of the corner there as well. Yeah. He's showing his talent, you know. Good timing. Beautiful timing. This is a good performance from him. That hurt. That hurt his arm. His arm's gone. Stop, 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 his stop, arm stop. broken. Broke his arm. Yeah. Broke his arm, and that is a real stop, stop. bad break, you know. Oof. Oh my good lord, that is a horrific break. It is absolutely snapped in half. Oh my good lord. Oh dear. I mean, I love this sport, but I hate to see that. That is, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> ay, 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 look at that on camera. That is absolutely snapped. Yeah, that is... Uh... Oh, goodness gracious me. I'm getting squeamish in my old age. They caught no, him. He, he fell and he's dislocated uh, his elbow. There you go. Yeah, he dislocated his elbow. It's the same thing that happened to uh, Michael Savas. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, he dislocated, didn't it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's uh, showman for, oh, goodness gracious, that's, mate. That's, yeah. But Jan, he, was, he was on the hiding for no, to nothing anyway, but... Well, it was the push kick that did it. I know, hope that he I hope they pull such it. Well timed push kick that he, that, he, that, he, that, he, that he fell in that way. And so. Oh, I mean, imagine what it's going to feel like when the adrenaline drops in a bit. Mm. Ah. It just did. <laughs> no, he's, I think yeah. he's more upset about losing. So, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, please, a massive round of applause for both fighters. 
And after one minute and 27 That's seconds awful. of round number three, the fighter it's in the blue corner unable to continue. Referee stops the contest, awarding this bout to your winner in the red corner, Manichai Yoko Sanchai Jin. Oh, it's gone back in, I think. No, I think it's just... It's just limp, isn't it? It's just... Good performance that for Man Man Yeah, Sam. it was a superb performance. The, the, the ending was unfortunate. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, isn't it? You know, yeah. it's well, the, just the end, an hard game. The, end, the ending, the ending can't take away from the fact that he was he was sharper. He, he looked he looked up for it. You know, we look. It, 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 just, can I ask you something? Before. Does what? anyone come out of Muay Thai on skate? Really? No. no I've no. got I've got to get a new hip. I need a new hip. John Wayne Parney's a new hip. Simon Chu just had a new hip. Yeah. Uh, Stuart Holden's had two new hips. No, a new hip. You know, uh, Sandy O, uh, you know, and you, Liam's got metal hands, and it's just a brutal, brutal game. But you know what? I do it all again. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Crazy. Congratulations to Manatai and the team. It was a good performance from him, and he looked on fire tonight. Fair play. So, the calm before the storm. The lull before something very special happens. A very, very talented man indeed. A Michael Jordan of his art. A Michael Jackson of his art. A Picasso of his art. A man that's just absolutely, incredibly gifted. And we are looking forward to seeing him in a moment. So ladies and gentlemen, just before we move on to the final bout of the evening, let's first of all see what these two fighters are fighting for. For the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, we present the Yokao Diamond Belt. The diamond belt, the belt of highest, highest order. And I held it today, it's an absolute beautiful spectacle. And if she drops it, she won't be uh, getting out of this uh, auditorium alive. She, her wig's caught on the belt. She's got her hair, her hair like, look at her hair stuck on the belt. Look at that. It's not a good look, that look. Yeah, I thought we saved the day. You had your moment, darling, and you blew it.
So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, the brand new Yorkow Diamond Belt. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the main event of the evening. Three three-minute rounds under full Muay Thai rules for the brand new Yokao Diamond Belt. This belt, unlike any other, ladies and gentlemen, just being able to fight for this marks a career outstanding between the next two competitors. So let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Sean Kangelosi. So Sean Kangalusi then has already fought Sanchai on Thai fight a few years ago where Sanchai won very, very easy. A three three-minute round fight, this is ladies and gentlemen. He's also a southpaw by my reliable mole. My reliable mole, Kevin. It's your reliable mole. I'm not defaulting his name. Oh. Because he'll boot my legs off and smack me with a left hook. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Sean Candelossi! But the man making his way to the ring is an all-time great and enjoy him while they're here because they don't last forever. And facing Chan this evening, his opponent in the red corner, a fighter who needs no introduction anywhere in the Muay Thai watching world. Ladies and gentlemen, he may just be the best fighter of all time from Thailand. Please welcome to the ring, Sanchai Piki Sanchai Muay Thai Jin. Yeah, without a word of a lie, there is names that are echoed in the DNA of all Thai people. Samar Payakaran, Diesel Noi. For me, Nam Kwabuan, Nong Ki Payud, and Sanchai has been mentioned in them high levels and high echelons of, well, almost like godlike skills, because his talent is extraordinary. And this happy-go-lucky, smiling little man, let me tell you, he is absolutely blessed in this art of Muay Thai. He was meant Ladies and gentlemen, the living legend, Sanchai P.K. Sanchai Muay Thai Gym. An incredible fighter and a three three-minute round fight for the and diamond belt. The final bout of the evening and the main event of the evening scheduled for three three-minute rounds. You know, you have Mayweather, you have Vasily Lomachenko, you have Sugar Ray Leonard, you have Muhammad Ali, you have all the greats. In this sport, this, this man here is without doubt nearly probably close as you can get to unbeatable, Gavin. The only person that's caused an indentation in him that's not from Thailand was Fabio Pinka. That was a controversial loss, but never the matter, nevertheless, whatever. Yes, Fabio Pinka won, but he is so, and you know, even when he messes about and he moves around, he can hit hard and he can take a hell of a shellacking as well. well for me, he's, he's, he's gone beyond that now. I don't think he's, he's kind of, um, you know, it's not that he's unbeatable. It's like who he is, you know what I mean? It's yes. what he represents. And I think he, he's, he's like a, almost like a Muhammad Ali figure. Like it doesn't matter that he, he loses a fight or it, 
it's 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 his, it's his body honesty, of work. But in all honesty, just, Gavin, who's going to beat it? No, exactly. I mean, but, but know, what I'm saying is, his, his body of work is just his, his legacy is just is unbelievable. You know, yeah. it's, it's 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 incomparable. Yeah, I mean, he's he's renowned all over the world. But any martial artist knows his name. Anyone who wants to be anyone, he paints pictures. He has such a quick mind, so fast, and with that southpaw skill. It's a well-known fact, though, that southpaws are generally better than other people. <laughs> uh, I know who told me that. <laughs> but, I mean, he, he, he processes things so quickly. His, his timing is impeccable. And he makes new moves up that it shows that he thinks outside the box. Cartesian logic, as it's called. Well, and he's a very special yeah, individual. He's indeed. a pioneer, is what he is. I mean, you can yeah. be, you know, in your sport can be going for, for 100 years. You still get pioneers every now and then that yes. move the sport along, uh, you know, to a, to a different level. Like you look at football, Messi and Ronaldo, people that move the move the football, move move the sport. You look at boxing, Lomachenko, move the sport on. And then you look at Sanchai, He's a pioneer. You know, he's moved yeah. the sport further along. Give it new ideas, new angles, new yeah. aspects like you've never thought of before. Yeah. You know. I mean, he's revered and he's loved and he's respected, and people just enjoy watching him, enjoy seeing his skills, and he's just. I mean, I've been privileged to come commentate on him many, many times, and uh, each time, he just seems to get better. You know. You're very, very lucky, ladies and gentlemen, to be watching this man because in years to come, you will say that you watched him live. So that's the way it is. But Shan Kangalusi will have other ideas. If he can cause an upset tonight, it will be on the level of Tyson losing to Douglas. Of Andy... Andy Ruiz knocking out Anthony Joshua it would be on that level. Or even even bigger shock, Brian Calder smiling twice in a day. And that's <laughs> happened today, so <laughs> upsets can happen. South four versus South four. He's going to be throwing all sorts of stuff, Kangalosi. Awkward. balance spinning kick just clips him there he won't like that you know he very rarely fights doesn't he he just completely and utterly outthinks you out maneuvers you and that's worse yeah oh I'm much worse and then someone someone's beating you up with skill he's, he's a teaser isn't he yeah he's a magician <laughs> he's of aged years though, Gavin. He must be like 36, 37. And his miles on that clock, oh, yeah. because he keeps himself wet, self so well, he doesn't he doesn't uh, wear and tear his that was nice. Hurt him with that shot. Left hand. Found a home for it. Found <laughs> home for it twice. <laughs> nice, nice shot. body should hurt him with that, you know. Shot again. 
another shot. Left hand's fine at home. Boxing's so good, eyesight is so good. Sanchai, 39 years of age. So, it's ridiculous that in the age of for Muay Thai, still doing it. I can't miss with that left hand at the moment. It's where he stands as well, he's positioning. Tangalos is having a go though. Just kick to the face, another left hand. Another left hand again. Laser like his hand just seems to be stuck. He's just, in the right, he's, just, he's just continuing in the right place at the right time. Yeah. And you see here now, in the balance. He's playing, he's actually, he's actually playing the game to him. Nice body shot there, left hand to the body. Yeah. What do you want to say about you know the corners telling him what to do and what can you do? Second it's so down. difficult. Help! It's so 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 difficult because it goes back to what we were saying before again. How do you stop him? How do you? Because clinch fighters, well, cl clinch fighters have always causing problems. Yeah. Tall, strong clinch fighters. The, but you know what? I mean, who can do that? But that isn't happening today, is it? No, but no, you know, exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, but I think that's what that goes back to me point, the original point of. of Clinch fighters do well against him because they actually stop him from fighting. You know, you couldn't. There's not. There's no fighter there alive. I don't think can stand there with him and outthink him, outmaneuver him. You know, that that would be like the Matrix. No, I suppose, not, you know not, what I mean? not a not a foreigner. Right. So, not a European. No. no, a Western. I know. So the only way to beat him is to stop him, stop him from doing what he does, yeah. which is again. Good luck. Kangalosi now be busy with that right side, now trying to stop getting hit with that left hand. Oh, eyesight is so good. <laughs> Give a little kiss. Have you missed something? He doesn't just come back with one. He comes back with one, two, three, three different things, three different angles all the time. It's not. It's not even that you make a mistake. He, he, he just he capitalizes on any space there that you leave. games as well. You know, just standing there and watching this. Lovely. And just seeing what he does and what he's positioning it is such a blessing to be able to see and um, Yokov made that happen and you should be very grateful you really should because I am look at that it's land that left hand again just straight left bang yeah on the chin Got to give credit to Tangalosi, who's still trying. Yeah. 
He's in with the master, isn't he, Gav? He really yeah, is. Yeah, Kangol's is still trying, and he's still, you know, he's, he's still quite, he is a little bit unorthodox, and he is looking for some sort of spinny stuff that can take you by surprise, but... Yes! Yes! Sunshine's got his eyes on him all the time. All the time. Uh, it's a master class in sort of like someone who is a little bit unorthodox yeah. and was making them move into spaces that he wants. He wants he, he wants him, it's no coincidence where he's landing his left hand, he's moving into the spaces. Yeah. He's doing a superb job, isn't he? He's just entertaining the crowd. And all right, it's not five rounds and maybe he doesn't push himself massively in the gym anymore. And, but I mean, to watch him, just to admire the skill. You see, Muay Thai is a very brutal art as well. But he seems to put this sort of... Yeah. I don't know, this yeah, sort you of... Do, you, you know, like you I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah well, you, you, sometimes you get... You can get those types of fighters, can't you? You can get the fighters that are really, really brutal. And you would, you can always you have admiration for the toughness and the brutalness and the, and the mental fortitude you've got to go through. But at the same time, you've got, like, another group of fighters, and he heads them. Yeah. That I like. They're, like, they're like, they're not fighters, are they? In no. a sense, they don't you fight. Gotta, you got to also remember, sorry, Gavin. Bonus. It's like you know, you, one person have a pencil and another person have a pencil have the same and sort of canvas, and he seems to get a paint and more exactly. people right. than anybody else just with yeah, what he's exactly, got. Exactly. And he's a very, very <laughs> exciting, enjoyable skill set to behold. Round three, then. Last round. Yeah. For the diamond belt. Yes, the round three. Ultimate belt here. Yeah. To start a distance. Timing is impeccable. Kangalosi, though, trying with his own. And that's a win for Kangalosi, isn't yeah. it? Play it with him. And that left straight. Hey. Just watched it go past yep. Alapili Joe Saunders. Knee. A little hip throw, that was nice. <laughs> I mean, it, it, what, do you, what do you say about it? Are you, I'm just sat with everybody else. You know, jaw dropping skill set of this little man that just has such good eyesight and that what he'll want that back. Shane Kangalosi. <laughs> Come to win. You get Shan Kangalosi take. Last 20 seconds of a absolute masterclass of performance with moments of success for Kangalosi. Good. 
There you go. That's how you put on a very, very masterful performance. Yeah, as I said, just to put him in with fighters back in the day to give the fighters a, a bit of a advantage by giving them a weight advantage because he is that good. I mean, and he and he's he's an all-time great, if not the all-time great. You know, he can be contested. It's about who you fought. But he's fought everyone, and he's beat everyone. You know. He's it. Well, he's in the conversation. And isn't he's only he? been stopped once. He's in the conversation for the greatest of all time, isn't he? He's yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You know? oh, of course, yeah. And I think sometimes then it's not like questioning who okay. he is number right. one. You know, it's kind of like who do people prefer, you and know. Ladies and gentlemen, that, please a massive round of applause for both fighters. Right. And after the full three rounds, we now go to the judges' scorecards. And the judges have reached a unanimous decision in favor of your winner and the new Yokal Diamond Belt Champion. In the red corner, Sanchai PK, Sanchai Moy Tai. Super performance. Commiserations to Shane Kangalosi. And your appreciation, please, for Sanchai He's very, very best. But this guy is very, very special. Well, if you watched it, He's won the special belt, a diamond belt, an absolute beautiful piece of jewellery. And that will go, I'm sure, with the many other belts, but it'll take a high level. It'll take probably the highest space on his shelf, because that belt is absolutely superb. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you very, very much indeed for joining us here on Yokal 45 and 46. Me, Vinny Shulman and Gavin Sterrett. We will return on March the 7th for you and bring you some more Muay Thai action. Thank you very, very much indeed for watching. Bless you all and may you have a fantastic weekend, what's left of it, and a safe and happy 2020. Thank you very much. So ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of what has been Are you ready?
Sunshine knows how he's gonna. Oh, oh.